He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. What is good, Scorpio? What is up, all my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? I know y'all like, damn, Blue Flame, you just forgot all about us. And you know, Scorpio, I did not. Um, I don't know if you guys recall. I feel like it was sometime last month doing fucking um, Libra season. And I told y'all, there was going to be some changes made to the channel. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all didn't see no changes, really. So you probably like, oh, she ain't talking about nothing. You know, so I've been showing some things, you guys. I got a whole somebody out here that's like basically trying to steal the recipe. I guess they want to be blue flame too. You know what I'm saying? And it's been revealed to me, I guess, what I'm doing here on this platform. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'm an influencer. Shit, I didn't know y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting up here doing what I do. You know, and I, I'm still learning to, you know, deal with that line. But it's like, I don't like the copycat shit. Like, shit, I can't help everybody. Can't be creative and shit but shit don't try to steal my shit you know what i'm saying because you're not able to create your own or be as creative you know what i'm saying i've been shown who it was i ain't gonna do all that y'all can use y'all to sign in a second because these different directions i'm gonna take all i gotta say is you better get ready to put in this work you're gonna keep up with your girl you know what i'm saying but anyway scorpio back to you guys i'm happy to be here doing this reading okay so y'all just have to keep watching the page and see when you up baby because i got y'all I just ain't got you like I had you before. I got to focus my attention through the other signs. You know what I'm saying? I've been shown there's other people that need to hear these messages as well. So I got to get them out here. You know what I'm saying? So I still love y'all. Ain't no love lost. You know what I'm saying? I just got to I gotta make it do what it do, okay? All right, y'all. So let's get into this reading. Who is this going to be about for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? I miss you guys. My birthday is in what? Six days with my birthday twins. Yeah, what's up, y'all? Let's go. Who is this reading about? Messages for my Scorpios. Damn, I'm out the gate, Scorpio. We got the two of swords, okay? So, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a leap for here. Doesn't have to be. Whoever this is, Scorpio, you see all that water back there, baby? This talks about the feelings, them emotions, that love, okay? So, somebody, Scorpio, has a lot of love for you. I'm talking about a lot of love, baby. But as you see this person, they got their arms crossed right here at this heart. So this means that this person has been guarding their heart. It's like you and this person has been at a stalemate. Ain't been no movement. You ain't reaching out to them. They ain't reaching out to you. Okay, you possibly got feelings and emotions you ain't talking about. They got some too. But this is someone who I feel like they're really trying to make some type of decision. But while they're making their decision, Scorpio, they ain't sharing their feelings. They're guarding their heart. They're suppressing everything. Like this is someone who I feel like has possibly been hurt in the past okay and this could have been the reason why this person was suppressing themselves or you know not expressing their feelings but as you see this water y'all remember on the king of cups you know how that water is kind of turbulent i feel like these emotions that this person had for you baby are very strong but they just suppressing this shit i feel like this is someone who is used to you making the first move you know the first person to reach out and all that type of shit but you're not doing it and see, this, it got this person confused. They like, well, shit, what, what, what are we supposed to do now? Because they're used to you always making the first move. Scorpio, you can have red hair, kind of like short, wavy hair, or shoulder length hair. I feel like also with this moon, I feel like something has been revealed or something can happen on the third quarter moon here. Tell us more. So what is the situation here? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. I'm gonna miss y'all, man. It's gonna be different for me. I know it's gonna be different for y'all, but y'all just hang in there with me, man. I ain't still gonna show you love. You just gotta hang in there with your girl, okay? All right, so what is the situation, Holy Spirit? What is the situation with this two of swords? Oh, seven of swords. Okay, so the situation is why this person you and this person are at a stalemate while they're not coming towards you and expressing themselves and all of that shit, Scorpio. It's because this person deceived you. For some of you guys, this person lied to you. They cheated on you. 
they hear something from you, they stole something. Okay, they could have robbed, okay? This is someone that could be hiding something or they're moving from place to place. Like they ain't got even got a place to stay. But this is someone who is definitely not speaking their truth. And for some of you, I feel like you had to make a decision to walk away from this person because you can trust them. I feel like it took you a minute to kind of catch on to what this person was doing. But it was like when you caught on, you was like, oh, no, I can't fuck with you. Because, you know, Scorpio, one thing about us is when you when you take away that trust or when you do something to, what's the word I'm trying to say? To uh, to sever that trust, you know what I'm saying? When we build that trust in you and you do something to break that trust. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> when you do something to break that trust with a Scorpio, like it really ain't no coming back from that, okay? And I feel like this person, whatever they did, Scorpio, look how they looking back. Like this woman, this man, whoever it was, they thought they was getting away with this shit. But they didn't get away, Scorpio shit. They didn't know, baby, you was intuitive as fuck. Okay, you got your girl Blue Flame behind us. I always gonna give you the tea and let you know what's going on, okay? <laughs> so what happened in the recent past? We got lots of air energy. Could have been dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius here. It doesn't have to be. I feel like whoever this was, Scorpio, they really been in their head here with all this air energy. I feel like especially this is someone who's been sitting on all these feelings and, and emotions, suppressing their true feelings and emotions for you. Like, this is someone who has been all in their head, possibly about, like, how to express them or if they should tell you how they feel. Like, this person been all been all in their head. So what happened in the recent past? Messages for my Scorpios. What happened in the recent past, Holy Spirit? Okay, so Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like, Scorpio, you dedicated a lot of time, a lot of hard work. Like, when it came to this person, baby, you was in here putting in this work, trying to build this connection, trying to reach out, trying to make things work. But I feel like, Scorpio, you invested way too much time. Like, you invested a lot of time, energy, because you wanted this to be a very loving, healthy, and lasting relationship, okay? You were looking for a commitment. You know, you were looking for a partner, someone that you can be with and share your life with. And that's what you thought you found within this person. And I feel like you really worked on it. Like, you opened up your heart. You see this green chair? Like, you really opened up your heart to this person i feel like for some of you you hadn't opened up your heart to you know another man or another woman you know for a while until you met this person for some of you guys with this eight of pentacles this even could have been you invested money like maybe this person told you about you know they hopes and dreams and because you believe in them you know and had so much faith in their hopes and dreams like you sat there and invested your money in this shit. If some of you guys, maybe you and this person tried to have a business together here, you know, make money together. So what happened? What I mean, what is the current problem now, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. What is the current problem now in this situation? Let me move this, this down here. So what is the current problem now? All right, so Scorpio, the current problem now is that someone here is looking for sun. Looking for the sun. It talks about joy, peace, and happiness. Scorpio, you could be the one that's experiencing this energy, okay? When you have the sun, baby, this talks about you have a lot of joy, a lot of peace, a lot of happiness, good vibes, good news, okay, children, good health, achieving major milestones. But this also could be some type of good news, okay? So I feel like right now, Scorpio, you're at this place where you're happier than you really ever been. I feel like some of you guys are in this child life energy, like you're just allowing your inner child to live because you had to heal your inner child. You know what I'm saying? Like you're living this life just being pure, just being your pure, genuine self here. But I feel like you had to like really build, like you had to really work on your foundation and create a, a more solid foundation for yourself so that you can be in this kind of childlike energy, like not, not worry, like Scorpio, I don't know about y'all, but I worry sometimes, worry myself to damn death, you know, about things, and you just want to be carefree for once, you know, just be happy, and just everything, just be fucking just peaches and cream, you know what I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with it, and you're experiencing it, whether you're experiencing it just living your life, you know, maybe you have someone in your life that you're experiencing it with now, but it's like you're at this point 
where you're just happy. You're just fucking happy, Scorpio. And I feel like it took a while, you know, to get to this place of being happy. So what were the outs? So tell us more about the sun. Because what's, what's the problem now that you're happy? Tell us more about the sun. Maybe this person wants to come in now and talk about shit because you happy. Tell us more about the sun. Look at this. You're not no longer interested. Like this situation, this person I'm talking about, Scorpio, you are no longer interested in connecting with this person. If you were very attracted to them, if there was a lot of chemistry between you and this person, whether it was physical, sexual, whatever it is, all this shit is dead. The thrill is gone, Scorpio, when it comes to this person because you're happy. I, some of you, you found happiness within something that you do, something that you've been creating something that you've been working on, you just found happiness within your damn self. Either way, Scorpio, as Cat Williams say, either way, you ain't fucked up about this person no more. Some of you could be dealing with, we got Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. So the problem is now, Scorpio, that you found happiness, I feel like, within yourself. And it's like, now that you done found that true happiness, that's self-love. That's because you nurtured yourself, you love yourself. And you really found that true happiness within yourself. And you're like, shit, this person can't make me happy. So what are the outside influences, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. And if anything is resonating so far, don't forget to like this video. So what are the outside influences? What are the outside influences or what were the outside influences here? Shit, I don't know which way that was. Two of Wands. So I feel like... Okay, so someone on the outside, Scorpio, saw the potential that you and this person had if you can just come together and make things right. Okay, so this is why you and this person have been at this stalemate because this is someone who knew that if this person was to open up, let down their guard, be vulnerable with you, Scorpio, this is what the fuck you was wanting from this person. And someone on the outside, Scorpio, saw the potential that you and this person shared. And they knew if this person let down their guard, expressed their feelings, you know, stop suppressing this shit, holding it in, that I feel like you and this person could have made something work, or you might have would have gave them a chance. Okay, you could be seeing two, two, two. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this two of wands. You can be dealing with the Aries as well. A lot of third party energy in all these readings I've been doing today, Scorpio. Tell us about this two of wands. Look at this. Yes. Because you were someone this person would have considered commitment. Like, this is someone who I feel like had commitment issues or were non-committal. You know, this is someone who just kind of wants to play the field, you know what I'm saying, roam, away, roam around or whatever. But when it came to you, you would have actually, Scorpio, broke the wall. If this could have been someone, like, they had a wall up or, you know, like, you had to keep to this person's heart. And you would have been someone who this person would have settled down with, who they would have been with. And someone on the outside, baby, they saw that shit. They saw the potential that you and this person had and this connection had. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Let's get one more. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. Look at this. I knew it. This karmic. This is who it was, this third party, you guys. Okay, your person, Scorpio, was dealing with this third party. This Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, this Queen of Swords in reverse, Scorpio, is somebody who cannot do nothing. They can't function by themselves. They're very calculated. They're very cold, very vindictive. They don't care about other people's feelings. They're very manipulative. Okay, so this is what kept this person. This Queen of Swords was the one who saw the potential in this connection that you shared with this person. So they had to be very calculated with their moves, what they said, how they did shit. Because this is someone that they knew if they made the wrong move, that you would have been the person that this person would have considered, you know what I'm saying? Or would have committed themselves to their life, put their energy. You know, you would have been the person this person would have like, if this person was, you know what I'm saying, out here in these streets, like they would have threw all them hoes away just for you. And this third party knew that shit. 
They knew that you had the potential to make this this player change their ways, you know what I'm saying, to make this person, like, get their life together and live right. And that's why this person, for some of you guys, shit, did some black marriage. They did something to make sure this person will always stay in this stalemate energy or to make sure that this connection will always stay at a stalemate. You know, this person not reaching out to you, you not reaching out to them, you guys not talking, like, they're not being any movement. In this connection, like this Queen of Swords had to be very calculated with their moves to make sure that there was no movement in this connection between you and them. Ain't that a bitch? For some of you, this could have been a Virgo or a Libra here. It doesn't have to be. We also have Taurus. So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this connection? What are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this connection? Three of Swords. This person fears that whatever pain that they inflicted on you from lying, cheating, deceiving you, stealing from you, whatever this person did to you in the past, they feel like that shit was just way too much. Like they did the fucking most. You know what I'm saying? Like they they realize this heartache and pain that they put you through, but they feel like they did the fucking most. And it's like there's no coming back from this shit. Like this person honestly, like been sitting there, like when I said this person has been in their head, like they've been sitting there trying to figure out like how am I supposed to come back? From what I did. You know what I'm saying? So what is going to be the outcome of this situation? Heavy Libra energy. Messages for my Scorpios. What is going to be the outcome of this situation between you and this person? Between Scorpio and this person? What is going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? Okay, so Scorpio, you will be getting communication from this person, okay? Some of you guys, this communication can come in soon. We're going to pull from the Anderson time. Y'all, the only group I don't have to do this Anderson time with, okay? You will be getting communication from this person about this ending, okay? For some of you guys, they've closed out this cycle with this third party, with this Queen of Wands and reverse, and they're going to communicate to you when they've done this shit, okay? So let me get this answer in time and hold on. Okay, Scorpio, so this person will be closing out this cycle, okay? They will be ending this karmic cycle with this third party, with this karmic that they're dealing with, okay? And you will be receiving communication. Now, with this eight of wands, some of you guys, this communication could be coming in fast, okay? So you could be hearing from this person during Scorpio season, okay? Because we do have death here. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, or you possibly could be hearing from this person before Scorpio season is over with, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us about the Eight of Wands. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Hope you guys have enjoyed this reading. You guys, y'all had the longest read. You know what I'm saying? You know I got to give you some love. Okay, Scorpio, you definitely will be receiving communication from this person. For some of you guys, it will happen in the afternoon, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us about the Eight of Wands. When will Scorpio be receiving this communication? Can you tell us more about this Eight of Wands? Tell us about this communication, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have, oh, damn. <laughs> we have October, okay? So, yeah, possibly October next year, you guys. For some of you, it can come quicker than that. Some of you guys, you won't receive this communication until October. Yeah, oh, shit, look at this. In the next 24 hours. I knew it. Because I was like, this eight of wands talk about fast action. Okay, some of you guys, it's gonna be a minute. Because this person is still not ready. Okay, and we got stuck. Okay, so for some of you guys, this person is still not ready and they're stuck. It's gonna be October before you hear from them, okay? Others of you, you could be receiving communication within the next 24 hours, and this person communicating, letting you know, baby, that they have closed out this karma cycle with this person okay so this stalemate for some of you guys is about to be over real soon all right so let's see who this reading is about i think i called out some signs but we'll roll the dice who is this reading about for my scorpios all right you could be dealing with heavy capricorn libra virgo 
we have Aries, Heavy Aries, Cancer, Virgo. And we also have Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.